Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a bunch of rubber belts. Now these are actually dry belts for a variety of electronics. Let's say uh, record player turntables. I do a lot of VCR repairs and even cassette players all use these kind of dry belts. And commonly these type of belts wear off and break or they just become too old to really operate the equipment properly and you need to replace the belts. So once you discover that you need to replace belts, how do you actually order and size the belts properly? Now you can see there's a whole bunch of sizes here, uh, various lengths, various thicknesses, various widths. Now uh, it, it really helps if you can get the belt out of the machine and physically measure it. Sometimes that's, that's actually impossible because the belts degrade to nothing. And so let's say you are able to actually get the belt out of the machine. So how do you actually measure the length so you can reorder the belt? Okay, let's say we took this belt out of the machine and we need to replace it with a new belt. Well, the first step is just to find a possible supplier for these type of belts. If it came out of a turntable, you may want to go to a record player turntable supplier, etc. Uh, or just Amazon, you can find a variety of belts. And usually the manufacturer or supplier will tell you how to measure uh, the belt for the proper size. And typically, uh, it has to do with the fold length, which is basically when you fold it like this, this is the fold length. And so to do that with these, especially with these smaller belts, what you'd want to do is just take a ruler and maybe take a couple of pencils or what have you and just grab it and just kind of pull it not too tight. You don't want to pull it really tight, but just kind of loosely tight and measure the actual length from end to end. Now, some manufacturers want the actual fold length, which is basically the length just like this. Sometimes they want you to double the fold length, which is essentially the full length. Let's say the belt is broken or cut. It's the full length of basically the string. And so sometimes if they ask you for the two times the fold length, that is what they're looking for. They're looking for the entire length of the rubber string. Now for larger belts like this, it might be kind of harder to pull it with a pencil. So you could just basically kind of loosely fold it like this and measure the length just like that. So suppliers also want to know what the width and thickness of the belts are. Now it's, it's, it's pretty, in this case, it's pretty easy to figure out the width. It's just basically the width uh, at the end here. And the thickness, sometimes it's called the height, is basically this thickness. Now, uh, depending on the size of the belt, uh, maybe a you could use a, a little um, measuring stick like this and try to get an estimate there. With some of these smaller belts, it gets a little difficult to get an exact measurement. So you may want to actually get a little, get some calipers like this uh, to actually measure the width. and the thickness or depth. And this also applies to really small belts just like this. And so calipers like this really come in handy so you can get exact measurements of the belt that you're trying to replace. Okay, but let's say that you don't actually have the belt you need replacing. Let's say it, it broke and you lost it, or it degraded to a point you can't really measure it, or you just don't want to take the belt out until you have a proper replacement. Well, in that case, uh, for a simple two pulley system, let's say you have a large pulley and a smaller pulley, it's pretty easy to estimate it. Basically, you want to just physically measure the diameter uh, of the larger pulley and the diameter of the smaller pulley and basically measure the distance from the center of one pulley to the center of the other pulley. And then you can use this simple calculation here uh, to calculate the length of the belt that you need to replace. So this calculation is essentially good enough. It's not the perfect exact calculation. Uh, this calculation right here is a little more exact, but it's more, it's more difficult to uh, calculate and it really doesn't matter. You can use the simpler calculation to calculate the length. And there you go. That is how you measure or calculate the length of the belts you need to replace. Again, the different suppliers are 
may ask for different numbers, just ver uh, verify what kind of lengths that they are looking for. But, but this video hopefully will show you the basics. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.